Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back. As you can see, we had a slight change of plans this week. I ended up coming up to my parents' house in Reading with the girls for a couple reasons. Um, yesterday, you all saw my video where I was doing paint swatches on the fence and I was planning to start that project this week. However, we are getting our master bathroom remodeled and it's kind of coming to, I don't know, it's like the apex of the construction. They're starting tile and things are, um, things are trying to get done as soon as possible because the girls start school next week. So I wanted to get the girls out of there, out of the way. Um, I wanted to get myself out of the way. Jason stayed at home with the contractors uh, and with the pets and everything like that. So we, the girls, are taking a little vacation up here in Reading. And then the other reason why I thought that this was a good idea, if you all have been watching me for a while, I have been talking about this fountain from Campania International. My mom has the same fountain. I'll show it to you in a second. It's right over here. And I tried to get the same fountain for Christmas. Well, Jason tried to get it for me for my Christmas present last year. And we could not get a hold of it. We absolutely couldn't get a hold of it. It's so hard without spending like double the cost in shipping costs, right? So um, we kept asking different nurseries if they had it and if they were able to access it. And so the nursery that I love here up in Reading called Wintour Gardens, I talked to them and they were able to order it for me, um, but it wasn't gonna come in for like months and months and months and months. And then we just got word that it's in. And then we just got word that in the month of August, all stone and concrete is 20% off. Woo! <laughs> so I get myself an early Christmas present this year. We're going to pick up that fountain while we're up here. We're gonna go do that today. I'll bring you guys along, of course. And then while I was here, I wanted to give you guys an updated look on the Tatur garden bed that I installed I don't know, like a month or two ago for my parents. I will link the video down below. And then also their pool walkway garden bed. Everything's looking really great. There are a couple hiccups, you know, which is absolutely normal for planting a new garden bed, especially for planting a new garden bed uh, in the middle of summer. I apologize about the sunglasses. It is so bright right now. I can't see. <laughs> it's windy and I forgot my uh, microphone and there's a fire up here. So there is smoke everywhere and I can kind of like feel it in my throat. Um, and that's just kind of like, it's, it's a bummer to say, but that's just kind of been our life for the past couple years is that this time of year, there's just wildfire after wildfire and the constant presence of smoke is just, it's like the norm for us now, which is really, really sad. So I'll show you guys a look of their view and you guys can see how much smoke there is. I'll show you that right now. So here's their view. You can see there's just kind of smoke all over the place. Uh, and I'm sure it's because it's windy today, as I'm sure you can hear. I'm sorry about that. Um, but it's just, oh, it's just so annoying. There's three fires. Luckily, none of them are close by here, so we have nothing to worry about. Um, but they're just three wildfires. One of them is the McKinney fire, which is very, very big up in Northern California. Uh, but I think that this smoke is from one that's a little little bit closer. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just, I hate to say I'm getting used to the fires, the wildfires, cause it's terrible. Um, it's so, oh, it's just so hard to live in it when there's smoke all around, but it just happens so often now that, you know, we just deal with it. It would, we just have to deal with it. So let's do, let me show you guys the fountain that I'm talking about. This is the Juliet fountain from Campania International. And, um, we found this, my mom and I found this a couple years ago at Winter Gardens and saw it and was just just fell in love. So my mom got it, my dad bought it for her for her birthday. And I have just fallen more and more in love with this fountain. It has two little birdies right here. It's just so beautiful. And I love the sound. It's not too loud. Um, and the birds love it. They have birds all over. You can see, I just scared most of them away, but they have birds here all the time and they love the fountain. And so I feel like that's what I'm missing in my garden is I have bird feeders, but I don't have a water source for them right now. Um, so I'm really excited to get this. And like I said, I've been trying to get it for about six or seven months now. And so finally, finally, so this is going to be my Christmas present. I'm very excited. I already told Jason that I, um, 
wanted to wait until Christmas to put it out, but now that I'm here, I kind of just want to put it out early, so I'll talk to him when I get home. Um, I'm just going to put this in the back of my car and, and drive it home. So that's the plan for today. Let me show you all a quick tour of the garden beds that we worked on. This is the Tatour garden bed. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> so I put in, here is Superbina Sparkling Amethyst. I put in, I want to say like 12 of them right there, and they're just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Right behind them is um, Helen Von Stein Lamb's Ear, which is beautiful. My mom, I think she added one more. There's a bank of, or three, of the Limelight Hydrangeas behind, and in this tutorial that I made for them, I will link the video of... Um, my DIY video on making this tutor. Uh, in this video, or in this tutor, there is honeysuckle growing up. And so it's already starting to curl around. Um, you know, this, this garden bed's only like a month or two old. So I think it's looking absolutely beautiful. There is an eating climbing rose that we planted right there. It's still very small, um, but it'll start growing, I'm sure, once, once the weather cools off. So I think this garden bed is absolutely gorgeous. My parents love it. They say they're so happy with it. Um, yeah, I wish I could pick it up and bring it to my house. Okay, and then over here we have the two pool walkway garden beds. They're called that, obviously, because here's the pool walkway. <laughs> and there's two garden beds on either side. So I did these on the same trip that I did the Titor garden bed for my parents. They are looking beautiful, especially considering we plant these in the heat of the summer, the middle of the summer. So I think they're doing really well, and I think next year they're going to look even better. So here's the rocks. We took these rocks. We got these rocks from their property. They have so many beautiful rocks on their property. They're so beautiful. And they, I think they look really good and they add some interest to these two garden beds. Surrounding that are Supertunia Bordeaux that are looking really good as well. A little bit um, heat suffering from the heat, I think. We're having a heat wave here in Northern California this week. Um, and so it's like every day it's above 100. I think yesterday it got to like close to 110 here. Just so hot. So I have to say, the flowers are handling it really, really well. They are doing great considering how how hot it is. Because I would not be able to handle being out in the sun all day in that heat. I have, or she has some heliotrope here. Some of it needs to be deadheaded, but it looks really good. I think this is going to act like a perennial here um, because... Heliotrope is like zone nine to zone 10, hardy down to zone nine, so zone 10. They are zone nine here. So we'll just have to wait and see if there is, if it's going to act like a perennial here. But I think, I have a feeling it will. Then we have the little Henry Itia or Sweet Spire. My mom told me this got some rust and so she's been spraying it with copper and it's, it's bounced back and it looks really, really good. Again, these were only planted like a month ago. So it's going to look so, so good. Then we have the hibiscus, the dinner plate hibiscus. Um, uh, light rose, I think is what it's called. I'll put it on the name. Uh, it's a Monrovia plant. This is not looking so good. It looked beautiful once we planted it and it's still got some blooms on it, but my mom has been dealing with crickets. I think they are. We, my girls caught one yesterday. I'll show it to you guys in a, in a bit. Um, but the crickets have been eating it like crazy, just chomping away on it and also have been chomping away on her, um, Helen Von Stein Lamb's here that's over there. So um, we have to figure out how to deal with those. And then of course we have the Veronica all around here that's doing fabulous. Even in this heat and even surrounded by concrete right here, it's still looking really, really good. So overall, these garden beds look absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with them. And it's only the first year. So they're only gonna look better. I mean, look at this idea right here. That's just gonna be so beautiful once it grows in. So I'm very excited about that. And then I wanted to come over here. This is the south side of her house. So this is like the hottest area that she has, but she has this bank of uh, bandana cherry lantana. Look at how 
cheerful and happy and bright this plant is. And it's so happy. Lantana loves the heat and it's a perennial for us here. Um, so she, this is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger every year. But I just love this plant. I kind of want it in my own garden because I just think it is so, so pretty. And this is, we see this from the kitchen. We see this from her living room. Um, it's just, it's really, really pretty. This was a good choice for a plant right here. And then the last thing I wanted to show you all while I'm here is her perennial border. It's looking awesome. So she has sunflowers over here. I don't know what variety. It's autumn something. They're autumn something. They're absolutely beautiful. Lots of amaranth. Let's see. More amaranth over here. Um, her Veronica, this is the pink Veronica that I planted in my garden. It's looking so good. And then the Junior Walker Nepeta, looking beautiful. I have to show you. This is Floss Flower Adjuratum. Adger this is the Proven Winners version. It's gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It's in the shade right now. Let me see if I can show you guys the color. The color is just so beautiful. It's so full of blooms. I am definitely getting this annual. I think it's, I think it's an annual for us. I'll put it, I'll put the zone, the hardiness zone right down below, um, and the actual name of it. But oh my goodness, this plant is so gorgeous and it's loving the heat. So I definitely want to add this into my garden next year. And then here is Superbina Sparkling Rosé. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is full sun, like full bright hot sun, and it is blooming absolutely beautifully right here. I have this plant, but it is in more shade and it's getting too wet. I think it's by my back lawn and I think I'm gonna have to transplant it to another place because mine does not look like this. Mine's like barely blooming and I thought it was the variety, but it's not. It's me, it's where I put the plant. I have to put it somewhere where it gets more sun because it's so beautiful. And then here's the Evolvulus Blew My Mind XL. So, so gorgeous. And I don't know if you all remember, I was making fun of my mom for planting her amaranth like two inches apart from each other. <laughs> and here's why. Here is her amaranth. We thin them out. So here's three of them. Look at how tall they are. Let me turn the camera around so you can see. Can you guys see how tall they are? So I'm 5'7", I'm pretty tall, and I would say these guys are like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, at this point. And it's so funny, my mom said that she had no idea they would get so big from such a tiny seed. If you all have ever seen amaranth seeds, they are so, so tiny, and these plants are monsters. So we're just cracking up because she tried to plant so many of them so close together, and you know, it's maybe if she planted them close together, they wouldn't have gotten so big. So maybe it wouldn't have been a horrible thing. This variety is the burgundy variety. Um, I don't even think we're going to have a chance to see them flower because I think she's going to pull them out later today. <laughs> so we'll see. All right. I'm in a little corner trying to get away from the wind. Hopefully you all can hear me okay. Um, yeah, it's just this last minute impromptu trip. It was just too perfect when I heard about the fountain being available and then with all the construction going on and the girls start school next Tuesday, this, I felt like this was our last chance to kind of get out and, you know, relax before things start getting really intense and crazy. And hopefully by the time we get home, the construction will be done. I kind of doubt it. They still have some more stuff to do. It's looking so beautiful. Um, I can't wait to show you all. So uh, I think everyone's waiting for me inside. Let's go to wind tour. <laughs> There it is. Oh, isn't it beautiful? So pretty. 
Let's see, let me make sure this one's mine. Yep, there it is. Very exciting. Now we just gotta get it in the car somehow. Shay, are you gonna help me put this in the car? Yeah. Okay. And here's the bench that my parents bought. It's beautiful. They're gonna put that right by their front door, which I think is gonna be gorgeous. So pretty. And everything's 20% off. We should buy something else, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you think daddy would like that? Yeah. Yeah, totally. All right, the Juliet Fountain is mine. I'm so excited. I was actually really worried about fitting it in the back of my car. I thought I was gonna have to talk my dad into driving, driving his truck, the two and a half hour drive all the way down to Davis, but luckily it just fit. It was meant to be. So I am so excited. I am so happy with Wintour Gardens. If you all live anywhere near Reading, come to this place. They're beautiful, they're wonderful, and they have a 20% off sale of their concrete and wrought iron right now, so awesome. Awesome. So it's very hot right now. I am sweating. It's like 105 degrees and it's only 1130. I think we're gonna go home today and swim the rest of the day, which should be wonderful. Um, tomorrow they have an arboretum. It's the Turtle Bay Arboretum. I think that that's what it's called. It's this beautiful, beautiful place. We've been there a couple times and they have this gorgeous bridge over uh, the river and they have a plant sale tomorrow. I guess their plant sale is open only a couple days a week and and tomorrow it is open. So my mom and I, we wanna to go tomorrow, but we wanna go really early. And I thought I would bring you all along to see what they had at the plant sale. I think it's mostly like native plants and plants that will do really good in the hot, hot uh, heat of Redding, which is absolutely perfect. So I will see you all tomorrow for that. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you all stay cool. And I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.